Today I'm at the fantastic Psych House Fishery near Doncaster. Now there's five main lakes here and today I'm fishing on Twin Lake which is one of the bigger lakes on the complex. It's got two islands in it and summertime these lakes are, they, they catch three and four hundred pound weights of carp. But of course in the winter there's also a lot of silverfish to catch. I've come for a a bit of a practice. I'm fishing a 50 peg winter league here and the main thing that I've come to test today is fishing with a fish meal ground bait on the long line and a sweet mix on the shorter line. Unlike most anglers I've tried to keep these two lines in line with each other straight out in front of me and this is because what I feel is if you're catching off that shorter line and the fish back off, if that line had have been away from, say, one line at 11 o'clock, one line at one o'clock, then once the fish leave that line, they can leave your swim. But of course, if they swim away from you, they come across the fish meal line. So you keep the fish in your peg because the lines are not too far apart. The shorter line is at 11 and a half metres. The longer line is at 13 metres. So those fish can move between those lines. There's two main things I need really to tell you about ground bait. Your sweet type mix, you can be more aggressive and feed a lot more of it. When I say a lot more, today I started with three balls of ground bait on that line. The fish meal line, you need to be very careful with. With fish meal, it's, it's so strong and so potent that if you feed too much of it, it can be really detrimental to catching your fish. So the longer line, I just started with one ball of ground bait, which will disperse on the bottom to draw the fish in. Then topping up over that line, I've topped up with small balls of ground bait with just a few particles also in the pot. The shorter line, I've been more aggressive. I've fed a bigger ball and you can feed more sweet mix than what you can fish meal. The shorter line, I've loose fed casters, but when I say I've loose fed casters, the casters have dropped with the, the furthest one dropping on the float. The rest of the casters have been back from the float. And this is an important point because I don't want to feed right on top of float and also risk casters going past onto the the 13 metre line. So I've kept everything inside the float. If you think of this as, I try to think about what's happening down on the bottom. And that sweet mix area is where I'm congregating fish like roach, skimmers, the, the silver bream, I'm congregating them there. So the loose feed's dropping down and keeping those fish over that, that sweet mix area. Now the reason for this is because in this lake there's lots and lots of silver bream or pommies as we call them. And of course I, I think that these fish, in fact I know for almost a fact that these fish just love loose feed. So by fishing at 11 metres and loose feeding casters over this area, I've managed to catch an amount of these silver bream and also quite a lot of roach to start with over this area at 11 and a half metres. The second line that I've fished, which is off the back of this line, is at 13 metres. And here I've fed a fish meal type ground bait. Now the reason for this, the longer line is where I want them bigger fish to come to. So I don't want to be firing particles over the top. I want them fish to come to that fish meal. And that's exactly what's happened today. Let's have a look how I prepare my fish meal ground bait. 
The ground bait that I'm using is the Amino Swim Stim ground bait. This contains lots of crushed type pellets, so it needs mixing different to what you do when you mix a normal sweet type mix. There's a very simple way to mix this bait. There's around about three pints of ground bait in a kilo bag. So if you measure that out, if you get a, a, a pint measure and measure that out, there's round about three pints. And if you put that into a bowl, then add the water to it. So that full pint then goes into the mix. Now that almost looks as if it's ruined the ground bait totally. It's almost a sludge. But if you leave that, what that does, the actual pellets, they soak all the water up. So it takes all the water in. And it, it looks completely wrong. But once it's left, if you leave it now for around about 15 minutes, and then put the whisk in it, you finish up with perfect fish meal ground bait. Hook baits I've kept really simple, just single maggot. You've got to think that water temperatures are very, very low. In fact, when you catch a fish, they feel so cold in your hands and you can imagine the fish are not wanting to eat a lot of bait so just a single maggot up bait was best bait today. I did catch a couple of fish on caster but maggot outscored it every time. Today I've just fished a three hour session. What's been real interesting, both types of ground bait have worked brilliantly well. The fish meal type ground bait is where I'd want to select the bigger fish and that's exactly what it's proved today. That longer line with fish meal has been the best line for bigger fish. That shorter line, I've been able to catch everything off it. I've caught skimmers, I've caught roach and I've caught pommies over this sweet type mix. So it gives you two places to fish, which as <laughs> In match conditions is all you really want is to keep putting fish in the net and building a weight and by swapping between these two lines it's been a great great day's fishing.